Hi, welcome back to Create a WordPress website. I'm Mary Kane with Blog Site Studio. So far we have built a site and loaded it with some essential plugins and now we're going to launch our first blog post. Blogging is not only a satisfying form of expression, it's a great way to draw traffic to your site because when Google sees that you are posting frequently, they will send more visitors to your site and give you better ranking. It's also a great way to um, give your readers something to chew on while they're clicking the ads around your site. So before I show you how to post a blog, I want to give you some tips on how to write a post and what exactly to write about. When you don't know what to blog about, create a calendar of topics. Here are six topics you can rotate weekly. Blog your life. Draw from the issues that come with your profession. Company news like new products, upcoming events, community efforts, special offers. Industry news, the events, trends, and analysis of your industry. Seasonal, related to Christmas, Valentine's Day, Secretary's Day, or even Super Bowl Sunday. People, stories about employees, customers, and people in the industry. How to, answers to customers' questions, step-by-step -step instructions, product updates. Then, research keywords. Find out what topics are hot. Once you have a topic, pick a keyword or keyword phrase and use it for SEO, which we'll get into in step seven. Write a killer headline. Here's a simple formula to write clickable headlines. Pick a number or trigger word, preferably odd numbers, and words like why, how, what, and when. Add an interesting adjective like effortless, fun, free. Then offer a unique rationale with a keyword, your reasons, your facts, your ways. Make an audacious promise or a value proposition, and arrange all that into one clickable headline. When you write, inform and entertain. Write what you know or what you want to know about in a snappy, humorous tone. Be brief but accurate. Keep your posts crisp and clean and check your facts. Write like a journalist. Give your blog post a beginning, middle, and end. No excuses. Just launch into your topic and go with it. Don't gush. Offer a personal opinionated point of view, but avoid hyperbole. Okay, now we're going to set up a new blog post. Um, and to do that, we can go from the front end of our site to the navigation bar at the top um, in which you can set any new things that are there, post, media, page, or user. We're going to click on post. Now it's important to know um, even though the page looks very much the same as a page page, post pages are very different from the uh, page pages. It has a lot of the same formatting, the publishing part is the same. The format um, is kind of like different templates. So if, you, if your post is image or video or quote based, you can click on those options and, and get those templates. The biggest difference between a post and a page are the categories and the tags. And um, since you can have an unlimited amount of posts in your site, um, the way to control the posts is through the categories and tag. Uh, pages are kind of self-categorizing, so they don't need uh, categories and tags, but posts really do. So that is uh, one of the biggest differences between posts and pages. Um, here again we have layouts. Um, we've got our Yoast. And again, we're going to check our screen options and make available all these other uh, fields that we can fill out on the post page. And there they are. Um, the first thing you need to do is um, 
write a post and paste it into the edit box. And what I like to do is I will just um, copy and paste, no, cut and paste the title in. So once I've entered my title, I'm going to save the draft. And when that happens, then you'll see the uh, uh, preview of the uh, permalinks. And for some reason, I'm not liking this. This is the ID uh, the, of the uh, WordPress has IDs for each post, uh, numeric ones, but um, you don't want to see those. So let's just go change the permalinks. So we're going to change that to the simple post name. So it's our URL and then the name of the post. Okay, it's a good thing we found that when we did because um, it's important to um, have that set from the beginning. So hopefully that will update when we save that draft. Okay, so there it is. This is my permalink. Um, I can edit it and I might want to. Um, the second thing I want to do is um, change the publish date so I don't prematurely... Um, publish this um, this post yet so I'm gonna change it to tomorrow and when I hit OK then it says schedule and it is scheduled so now I can't accidentally publish it uh, without wanting to okay so the next thing we need to do is um, we could format it a little bit um, I'm gonna add a Heading 2. Again, this title is Heading 1. So we don't want to add another Heading 1 to the post, uh, only Heading 2s. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is Add Media. So we'll click on the Add Media button. Um, we'll, uh, this is our Media Manager. We'll go Upload Files. Now we can, again, do it two different ways. We can select files the old-fashioned way, and we're going to find our pictures, and I think I have them in this. Okay, we can add a few pictures. We can add a whole list of them. Let's just get three of them, and they all come in at once. Another way to add pictures is by opening up our finder box and um, we can just drag them in to the site. So this is often a faster way of doing it. You can just drag the pictures in and when you see the blue background you know it's going to upload. So now all the pictures are uploading, but you don't want three and four thousand pixel pictures in your site because it just um, weighs it down. Okay, so then we're going to put our cursor where we want it and we're going to hit add media. Click on the first picture that we want to add. We can here, um, we are going to add the title to the alt text and the description. And then we're going to set the alignment. Um, in this case, uh, I'm going to go for the left and I'm going to link to the attachment page and I'm going to use a kind of a smallish image. And there it is. Now if I wanted to play with this more, um, I can uh, click on it and go to the edit box that pops up. I can add a caption. Uh, and uh, I can change the alignment if I wanted to. I can add advanced options and um, but right now I'll just save that and here's my caption beneath the picture. The next thing we need to add is the featured image and I'm going to click on featured image and I'm going to, I'm going to go with this one 
And to see the featured image, I have to scroll down, and here it is. There's your featured image. All right, as long as we're working with media, I'm going to show you how to upload different kinds of media. Um, the first thing we're going to do is place our cursor where we want it, and I'm going to show you how to work with a gallery. Okay, so you go to Add Media, and you go to your Media Manager, hit Create Gallery. So you've got all your pictures, and you can click them all at once. No need to hold the Shift button down. Okay, and then you will, you'll see them at the bottom, all the pictures that you've chosen. And then you're going to hit create a new gallery. So you'll see all the pictures. You can add, nah, I wouldn't add captions. Um, and in our gallery settings, because we're connected to Jetpack, we have some more options than normal. Um, I personally like the tiled mosaic, so we're going to go with that. Medium size. Um, let's stick with the order we've got. You can move these around if you want to change the order. Or you can set it for random order, but eh, then you lose control. Okay, and then you hit insert gallery, and then voila, they are there. And then when you go to view them, to preview them, that's how they look. It's a kind of a uh, mixed up mosaic. Some pictures are larger than others. So you need to play with the order of the pictures. Um, if you want, say, uh, one to be larger than the other. So if you wanted this bottle image not as large, you can move it, update your gallery, preview, see it's in a different place. It's kind of a crapshoot, you never know which pictures are going to end up um, being large or small so you just have to play with it. Okay, the next thing we'll do is uh, we're going to add a PDF. And we're going to do that in the same way as uh, with regular media. We're going to go Upload Files. We're going to go Select a File. Now you have to be careful because PDF files can be pretty large, so we're going to find the smallest we can find and we're going to upload it just like you would an image. Okay, and here's the image. It's um, shown with this icon of, of a sort of a page with text on it and um, it's one megabyte which is not too bad and so there it is. Now if you want uh, your PDF to be represented by an image we are going to go find an image. Okay, so we have our PDF uploaded here. It comes in at one megabyte, which is not bad. It's represented by this pagey icon here. And we also have our cover image right here. What we're going to do is we are going to take the link, which is right here this in URL. That's the link for the PDF. We're going to copy that, and we're going to attach it to the cover image. And click away to save it. Good. And we're going to insert that into the post and here it appears. So when we preview it and click on it, up comes our PDF. There it is. 
The next fun thing we're going to do is we're going to add some audio. And to do that, once again, we'll go back to the Media Manager, find our files. I have three of them set aside here on my desktop, MP3 audios. And I'm going to just grab all three of them at once and upload them here. Okay, now we have our um, MP3 files loaded. Um, they're kind of big, 6 megabytes, ooh, 15 megabytes. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to click Create Audio Playlist. Each of these can be um, inserted individually, but we're going to make a small playlist of three and we've got them chosen. We're going to hit create a new playlist and here they are. There are some um, settings here to show the track list, the artist name, the images, um, and we uh, are just going to insert the audio playlist and there it appears just like that. Let's see what it looks like. There you go. Starting with the first song. So as you click down, you'll hear the um, different uh, songs and you'll see the, the titles appear up top. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a video to our page and um, there's really two ways of doing that. Modern WordPress allows us to um, just pop in a link on the um, on the edit page and voila it turns into a video right there. So if we preview it this is how it appears. Now that looks pretty good um, in this case. I've had um, other sites where the video size didn't quite fit. And if that's the case for you, if it doesn't quite fit, you can do it, it the old-fashioned way. And you can find your video. Here's my video. I'm going to scroll down to where it says Share. I'm going to hit Embed. And, and then if I sh say show more, it gives me various sizes to work with. So it, maybe that one was too big, maybe I want the smaller video. Okay, and I'm going to copy this iframe code, and I'm going to pop that not on the visual end of the edit page, but in the text end, because you're adding code here. So... We're going to put it down here. Okay, so when we see it visually, there it is, but it's just much smaller. So by doing that, you'll have more control over the size of your videos. So this one was just the link going into the edit page as is. And this one is the iframes code that you pulled from the actual YouTube page site under Embed. So now I've got, I've got my title, I've got my post, I've got the post has an image in it, and um, the third thing it needs uh, besides the title and the featured image it needs an excerpt and um, because those three things will appear around the site. So for an excerpt you can merely capture um, text and you're going to put it in the excerpt box. Okay, and that will appear elsewhere on the site. And we're going to take a quick look at it in preview. All right, so here's how our new post looks on the site, and very pretty and uh, very clean. 
Now you'll notice that the featured image appears on the post page. This is not always the case. Um, different themes uh, treat the featured image differently, so sometimes it will appear on your post page and sometimes not. So you have to be mindful of that when you're picking your theme. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is add a link or two or three to our site. Um, in this case, um, since it's about a company uh, or if it was about a person, um, the first insta instance of their name should be linked. So what you're going to do is you're going to select the name. You're going to click on the little linky chain there and you're going to paste in the URL. So if you were to just hit apply here, um, that would be fine, but since it's an external link, my suggestion is to click on the tools, go to this box, and open, have it open the link in a new tab so that when somebody closes that site, your site is still up on their screen. Um, if you wanted to place an internal link, you could use this. Here are your pages, the few pages that we have. If we wanted to link, say, to this page, uh, we could do so. We wouldn't really need to open a link in a new tab for an internal link. Otherwise, you could just hit update from there. But in this case, we are going to stick with the uh, external link. And there it is. All right, the next thing we're going to do is add categories and tags to our post. Now, categories and tags um, are uh, clickable links that um, offer, you know, more opportunities for users to find information on your site. So they're very worthwhile. Um, to, to use, and so, um, but it's important to know the difference between them. Um, categories are to your post what a table of contents is to a book. Uh, it, these are the high level descriptions uh, of what uh, the contents are. Tags are the, um, kind of like the index of your book, and it, it, they'll, they'll contain every little mention of everything so that when um, people click on either of them, they'll get a list of posts that um, contain either of those categories or tags. So they're very interesting and uh, easy to work with. All you have to do, in the case of the categories, you're going to add new categories. Um, get rid of this uncategorized. Um, in this case, our category, uh, let's say it's uh, wine. Okay, we're going to add that as a category. Um, and as a tag, we could add Israel. We could add Domain du Castel. Uh, we could add um, Grand Bain. And these are all very specific words that describe what's in the post itself. Um, where the category is um, features the high level description of what the post is about. Now, with tags, um, as you go through uh, your posting, you are eventually going to be able to choose from the most used tags. Now, we've just started this site, so there's no tags found. But the more you use tags, um, the, more you're, the, the, the bigger your tag cloud is going to be. So eventually, you can just go uh, click, 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 and um, click on the same things over and over. Um, it's important to, if it autofills your, um, uh, this um, box, um, then it's important to use the, the, most, uh, the most common version. Now, you don't want to have a capital I in Israel and a lowercase i in Israel. You want to keep them uh, consistent 
in format um, because you don't want to be breaking it off into a bunch of more tags than you need. You want to keep reusing your tags. Now if you were very organized you would set up your categories and tags in advance in the categories and tags pages which are right under posts. So here is the wine category that we just set up. Uh, let's say you wanted to have um, another category about cars. Um, it will have the same slug and you can just you can add a description and uh, add that to your category base. And then when you're looking at this, uh, you can see there's no um, posts about cars yet. There's an uncategorized one. And the same goes for tags. You can, here are our tags. Um, and um, again, it says zero under the count because the, that post is not published yet. You can do the same thing, add more tags. Um, oops. And you can add the tag, and boom. So you can do it either way. You can um, enter categories and tags as you go, or you can be very organized and do it in, in advance so that um, your taxonomy is very organized. Okay, we've finished our post and it's ready to go, but don't publish it yet. There's just another couple of things we need to do, so stay tuned to the next step and um, we'll go through search engine optimization first. Thank you.